And so wow. if it doesn't change how I'm going to treat you, it doesn't matter, which means that I could ignore it if someone asks me what you should eat. You know, but, but the problem was when they did the randomized controlled trials with the seed oils, they were like, oh, it doubled the atherosclerotic plaque. What do we do? Put it in the box in the basement. Um, wow. You know, and so there's all this, this like, well, yes, those details are true, but Master John, get out of my hair. I don't want to, I don't, I can't handle the truth, you know? Right, right, um, right. And yeah. so how does nano kinase? Oh, yeah, right. Because okay, I, so, I brought you way off track, yeah, 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 sorry. No, I, the problem, when you get a... When you get a heart attack or a stroke from atherosclerosis, it is not because in all, in like 98% of cases, it is not because the plaque occluded the blood vessel and stopped the blood flow. In fact, usually when a plaque develops, it de it develops backwards. Like it it just um, so your like let's say this is your blood vessel, the plaque's gonna bulge out this way instead of this way because your body tries not to narrow the blood vessel because you do need the blood flow, right? So it's almost never the case that the plaque is just squeezing the blood vessel shut. What happens is the inflammatory process inside the plaque, which is especially driven by the seed oils oxidizing in there and going rancid. That's not the only factor, but it's one of them. That process degrades the collagen that covers the plaque and it makes micro tears and the micro tears and the collagen get healed by scar tissue that gets laid on top of it. And so when you get narrowing into the blood vessel, it's because you're building up scar tissue on top of like it keeps breaking and you keep building scar tissue on it. But if it breaks and you get a blood clot that is big enough in the acute moment to block the whole artery, that's that's what usually causes most heart attacks. Natto kinase is an enzyme derived from natto, which is a Japanese fermented soybean paste that is also incidentally very high in vitamin K2, which helps you protect against calcium deposits that weaken the plaque and make it more likely to rupture. So actually just eating natto would be better. This is food, why food first works, right? right? If you had K2 and natto kinase, you'd be even better off. But the natto kinase helps break apart blood clots. So if... In some people, you might just have a predisposition because you've got systemic inflammation. You just clot more easily. Or you might have someone who's got a genetic defect in the ability to degrade clots, and so their baseline clotting is higher than normal. Then they're even more likely to get a heart attack or a stroke when the plaque ruptures because their baseline predisposition to clot is higher. And then on top of that, um, if you've got someone with really bad atherosclerosis, they might be clotting all the time. Like any every day might be a new day where they could have a heart attack. And so in both of those cases, natokinase is going to uh, degrade the clots as soon as they occur. 